You're now watching a clip from the Inspired by show. You can watch the full episode on our YouTube channel or listen on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. So make sure to head over there, leave us a five-star rating if you enjoyed it, and follow the show. I'd failed my GCSEs, and what had come off the back of that, and this is why I think the school system can be so wrong in this country, that that gave me a fixed mindset. It didn't give me a growth mindset. I left school now, look, now looking back, knowing this, thinking I don't need to learn anything. Learning's failed me to this point. My dad's told me great advice: work hard, be committed, be be determined, start a business when you're young. But the missing link was, and make sure you learn about business. Mm. And that book was One Minute Manager, One Minute Manager Meets a Monkey. And I remember, um, and the reason why he gave me that book is because I was the guy running around the business with a cape. So the staff would say to me, Henry, can you do this? And I'd go, yes. My phone used to ring off the hook every day. I had 47 staff and I was the busiest person in the business. The guys would come back with a long trailer that we had and it was a bit of a difficult thing to reverse in. And they'd be like, Henry, can you reverse it in? So I was just taking everyone's monkeys and doing everything for everyone. But my ego was getting bigger and bigger mm. because people go, oh, there's a reason why you're the boss. And I'd be like, yeah. And I'd be basking in my own glory all the time. My ego was getting bigger. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the boss. I can do this. I remember actually saying um, a couple of years before we started getting difficult times, I remember saying to Sarah coming home one day and going, this business thing is really simple. Like, work really hard, employ some good people, and you make loads of money. Like, I'm going to start 10 of these businesses. And like, I was so naive. Wow. Um, so we we got the, Jeff, the business coach, to come in. I read, read One Minute Manager. And the best thing he did was unlock my desire to then learn. And I started learning and reading re lots and lots of books. But unfortunately, by this point, and it's no, no detriment to Jeff's coaching. It was nothing that he did. Um, but the business was too far gone. Um, and we ended up having half a million pounds worth of business debt and then two hundred thousand pounds worth of that was personal guarantees um sarah was pr we had esme who was three years old and as uh, sarah was pregnant with ned um and this is october 20 2019 um he was born december 2019 um, and we had an insolvency practitioner. By this point, we were doing something called invoice finance or invoice factoring. And that company said, look, you, you're in a bad place. You've got a lot of HMRC debt and other debt. You need to speak to an insolvency practitioner. I remember this guy coming in and he was, I, I, it was like he was a lovely guy, but it's like the Grim Reaper coming into your yard every time. It felt like like black clouds came across the sky. And I remember him saying to me, Henry, your business is is too far gone. You need to go, go under. And I remember thinking, what? Like, no, I'll just work harder. I work harder. It's fine. Like, what, what do I need to do? And he'd be like, no, no, your business needs to go under. And I remember going home and looking at Sarah and knowing that I promised her that we'd never have to sell the house and the business wouldn't go under. She was heavily pregnant. I was really worried because we had some complications in the first pregnancy. And I think I can't tell her this. Um, and we kept the business going for another six months after that. We took another loan. Um, which you just had a didn't want to give up. I didn't want to give up we took, with another personal guarantee uh more um well at the, i think before that it was about 150 and then we took another 50k loan with a personal guarantee um and then in may 2019 i finally put the white flag up and went we need to the business needs to go under now um and that business went under um for the for, for the time i actually um the business went under i was sober for about three months and i remember just digging in really deep and i knew that the process i had time to process what needed to happen and um we the business went under and actually the transaction of a business going under is actually quite straightforward mm. um it, it's not something that i would ever advise anyone to do but the the the, the it's quite transactional you a business ends another you start another one you do a pre what they call a pre-pack and you buy the old business sort of ip and some kit and everything off of it and you start again minus the debt like it's quite straightforward transaction but i wasn't ready for the emotional part of it and also mm -hmm. the personal guarantees we had